Another wonderful addition about editing in the timeline is that playback doesn't necessarily have to stop. We can loop something and we can look at the loop with the play around function which plays a certain amount of time before and after your playhead position. And we can have that continuously play as we edit the point. So let me show you the things that you need to do to set them up. Firstly is the play around function. Now there is a button for it. If I just click the button editor here you can see that this button here is the play around button. And on a PC it's shift K. I'm assuming on a Mac it's going to be shift K as well. That's the play around button, so remember the keyboard shortcut shift K and the cancel. And if I do shift K, but I'm actually going to turn off the audio so that we don't have to listen to the audio of these tracks. If I do shift K, you'll see that it goes forward two seconds, plays through the edit and goes on for two seconds. It's actually playing two seconds before and after wherever my current time indicator was. So if I move my current time indicator right to the middle of a track and do shift K, it's going to do two seconds before and two seconds after which is not very interesting in this particular example. So that's Shift K playing around, but we can also loop it. Now you can find the loop option up here in the panel menu for the program monitor. And if you click that down, you get a whole bunch of options. That's this particular one here that says loop. We want to make sure we select the loop option. Make sure it's selected. Right, now it's selected. Let me go to something a little bit more obvious, maybe this one here. If I hit Shift K now, it's going to loop around two seconds before and two seconds after of that particular point where my current time indicator is. I'm going to hit K just to stop play. Now, if you want to change the amount of time it goes before and the amount of time it goes after, you can do that in your preferences. And it's found here. You go to Edit or Premiere Pro in Mac, Preferences, and go down to Playback. And under Playback, you have something called Pre-Roll, which is how long it rolls before it's supposed to start, and post-roll, which is theoretically how long it rolls after it's finished. So it's pre-roll and post-roll. And if we change these, I'm going to change them to a lower figure. One second before, one second after. Now I'm going to click OK. And if I do my Shift K now to play it around, you'll see that it's just going one second before and one second after, and it's looping over and over again until I hit K or hit the spacebar to stop. Now, how does this affect us for timeline editing? Well, if I hit the T key, remember it will take me to the nearest edit point. So hit T, it's taking me to the end. I don't really want that one, so I'm going to go forward to this point here, which was the up arrow, and I've got the rolling edit over this point. Now, if I hit Shift K now, it's going to play one second before and one second after that point. It's going to play it round and round and round. But also, if I hit Control left arrow, I can shift the point where this edit starts. And if I hit Control Shift left arrow, I can move it forward by five frames at a time. And I can do Shift or Control right to go the other way. Now it will come to a point whereby it doesn't have any more footage, in which case you get to this bit where it says Trim Media Reach Limit of Video 1. So you can't go any further, but I can go the other way. I'm holding Shift Control which is actually taking me out of my play around range so I can only just see it come back a couple of times so I can get a better view and if I wanted it to trim further I could actually stop make sure I'm over that trim point again and then do the shift K to get the play around again I've reset it and I can work out what I want and edit it so not only can you do timeline trimming you can actually do it dynamically and you can choose how long it will play for through the preferences.